from Local Motors and I'm here with the Cruiser. Been doing some work on this thing in the last couple of days. Uh, we're getting ready to do a small production run of these things and we're going to incorporate some improvements on uh, different areas that we found to be shortcomings on the, on the early prototypes. So one of the things I was working on yesterday is the frame here. On this original version the frame actually takes a jog and it goes down um, then it comes back up which makes it kind of a weak point and it's also kind of tricky to build. We actually have reinforcement inside here where the tank is. Uh, we're gonna be switching to a more conventional straight across upper tube, which is gonna stiffen the bike, remove some of the extra parts and welds, uh, make it stronger, lighter, simpler to make. Uh, also looking at the crank set, when we did this original one here, um, it's not using components that we're real happy with, it was just something that was expedient. So we're switching to a different size so we can use better quality components. We're switching to um, cranks from a mountain bike. Uh, it'll be a little heavier duty, it's gonna look better, work better. Same thing on the back end, we're gonna uh, widen this area where the dropouts are, and that's so we can change the brakes. We're using a drum brake, or sorry, a, a band brake, because um, it matches the style, but the braking action is pretty poor. So we're looking at replacing that with a disc brake in the rear, which I think is gonna help out a lot. So these frame changes are getting finalized. Next week we're gonna be making two prototype uh, frames of the next generation, and then putting different engine and transmission combinations on those, build up some miles, and see what works the best to figure out which ones we're gonna use for production.